Yo, what's good? It's Soko, and today I'm gonna show you how to install ZML. ZML is a new mod loader made in the Vilify ZI9. This new loader from ZI9 is actually really dope because if you're to use this loader, stuff like Fly Mod and anything that's malicious won't work. Your keynote will still work perfectly fine with this, and anything else that's been verified for this loader will work. So, first link we're going to download is this. We're going to download ZI9's ZML loader from this GitHub site. We're just going to click this download button. We're going to click keep and then we're going to drag this to our desktop. The next thing we're going to download in public releases is Gene's graphics mod. We just click the little drop down, the little download drop down. And then we drag and drag this to our desktop as well. If your files don't look like this, that's not a problem at all. We're gonna need to download WinRAR. I'm gonna have a link for this in the video description. You scroll down, you click download, and then we're gonna download the 64 bit version. All you have to do is double click this and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna install it again. After you have it installed, you just want to right click on ZML, just right click it and click extract to. It's going to make a folder on your desktop. We're going to drag this down for now. Get this out of the way. We don't need this anymore. We can delete that. Then we have JGM, which is Gene's graphics mod. We're going to right click this, click extract to, and then it's going to extract to our desktop. Inside this folder, you're gonna have his graphics mod and then this folder here, which basically holds a bunch of presets. Inside the ZML, these are the files, these are the core files you're gonna need to run this loader. So, we're gonna install Gene's mod. You're gonna click on ZML, click mods, then you're gonna drag these two files inside of here. We can close this folder now, we don't need it. And then we're gonna click back here into this main folder. You have BepinX, ZML, and then two other files that basically make everything work. The next thing we need to do is click our Steam. We're gonna click our Steam profile picture, click library. We're gonna right click on CarX, go to properties. Make sure in your betas that your game is on a moddable version. If not, it won't work. We're gonna click local files right above it. Then we're gonna browse our local files. I'm gonna close Steam in the background just to get out the way. We take everything here, all these files inside here. We're gonna highlight all of them, drag them into our directory. It's gonna say replace files, it's gonna replace all of them. But then now I don't need this folder anymore. I can get rid of them. Um, all this extra stuff on the, off my desktop. We're gonna click our profile picture back again, go back to our library, and now we're gonna launch BugX. All right, once you load in the CarX, you're gonna notice your menus are dark. This is part of ZML, it's a dark theme. And the default key to open ZML is F8 on your keyboard. We're gonna press F8, and then you're gonna see all of your mods basically inside here. Paddy's realism mod is still private, so please don't don't ask me for the mod in the description. It's not out yet. I'm just a, um, a private tester for the mod at the moment. So what we installed earlier was Gene's graphics mod. It's actually pretty cool because you can change a lot of graphics settings in your game without needing reshade even installed. There's stuff like Bloom, Aberration, which works out pretty dope it looks cool what else there's exposure there's film gain there's lens distortion there's motion blur and then um there's other stuff and then you can load presets as well i'm not gonna bore you and you know explaining how this all works but inside here we have keybinds you can remap these wherever you want to so F8 is a default keybind to open this. If I just press it once, so mouse one, I can press something else on my keyboard like L for example, and I can use L to basically reopen this menu. 
I'm just going to put it back to F8 because uh, I'm fine with that default. There's also settings. You can disable the splash screen at the start if you don't want to show ZML. And then there's an about with uh, everyone that helped out and special things. So I'm going to show you Gene's mod a bit in game. I'm going to just load any like random world real quick. But so once you load in, you just you know you press your key. Mine's just eat. All right, but so once you load in, you just want to open your menu. Mine's is still F8 by default. So inside the toolbox, you can change a lot of options you want for the graphics mod. Here's reflections. You use better reflections, default, uber reflections. You know, basically gives your game like better reflections overall. This is default. Then you go to better reflections, you go to Uber. Uber just pushes it a bit more. You can change the skybox, you can change your sun lighting, which is pretty cracked as well. And you know, get better lighting out of your game overall if you want to get some really nice screenshots. But all in all, that's basically it for now. If you need any help or concerns, you can ask me below in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out but installing the mod is pretty straightforward. Also, I'm gonna have all the links for everything in the description, don't worry. I'll make sure I have everything there so you can get all sorted, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. It's, it's a pretty straightforward one. It's not that hard at all. You know, you kind of just download the files and then you drag and drop it into your game, but I appreciate you watching until the end. Hopefully, uh, you know, I helped you out. And enjoy the rest of your day. Be easy.